today I teamed up with Foxy Bay to show you guys how I curl my hair. They sent me their Wonderlux 25mm curling wand and before I even get started I just want to disclaim that this video is sponsored so if you're not okay with that you might want to hop off this video. Real quickly before we get into the tutorial I just wanted to go over some of the features of the wand so let's just get started. Okay, so the barrel is made of rose gold titanium, which basically means that it is a way healthier alternative than other curling ones. The rose gold makes it super healthy and it leaves your hair really shiny and it will also hold your curls in place for a very long time. The wand has a swivel cord, so when you're curling your hair and you go in weird positions and stuff, it makes it way more easier to use because it can actually like move around 360 degrees. Also, the wand comes with a bag to store it and a glove to keep your hand all protected from the heat. So the last feature about this product, which is probably the coolest thing about it, I think, is that above and below the power button are these little arrows so you can change the temperature of the wand. This feature is probably my favorite because everyone has different hair, so why would we need to curl our hair at the same temperature, you know? So in the little pamphlet it comes with, it says that the temperature can go from 140 degrees to 430. So like any type of hair, you can use this one. My hair is thin, it's obviously bleached and dyed, and it's very more fragile because of that, so I don't need a super high temperature to curl my hair. But then somebody else could have super long, thick, natural hair and just need a higher temperature. So I think this is the coolest because it's so versatile and pretty much anybody can use it. All right, so I think that about covers all the cool facts about this curling one. So if you'd like to see how I did this to my hair, just keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna start with taking out these earrings. Just make things easier. So I just held the power button and I turned it on and it is very quickly heating up. I'm not sure if you can see that, but all the numbers going up is the temperature. So I heated up to 360, but since I have very thin, slightly damaged hair, I'm going to keep it at 300 because it says in the little pamphlet that about 250 to 310 is good for delicate, thin, easy to style hair. So yeah, I think I'm going to do 300 just to be safe. I'm gonna take my hair down. Before I begin, I'm just gonna brush through my hair and get rid of all the tangles. All right, now that my hair is detangled, I'm going to go right above my ear. You can see right, like right here, and pull up most of my hair. And I'm just going to clip this up, keep it out of the way. One more time, I'm just gonna brush through this little back area, just to be sure. So I'm putting on the heat protecting glove they sent, which I love this. It's a little big, but I mean, it's, it's okay. I just really love knowing I'm not gonna burn my fingers off. So I'm gonna take sections about this big. I don't know much about hair, so I don't know how much you would call this, but just about like a section like this. It's pretty thin. I'm going to take the barrel and start at the top and just wrap it around there and I'm going to hold it there for a few seconds. And then drop it and that's exactly what I want. Then I'm going to grab my next piece and do the same thing. I like to curl my hair away from my face. I think this is a way. I think however way I'm doing this right now looks the best on my face. So this is how I like it. So I'll just continue to do this all around and I'm probably going to speed up this portion of the video just to make things go faster. Okay, now that that section is done, I'm going to take my hair back down. And I'm gonna do the same thing, pull hair up, but I'm gonna, I went like, I guess an inch above my ear. I find that it's easiest to curl my hair if I put it up in sections, that way I'm only doing a little bit at a time, so one, it's just, it's just way easier, and two, I'm less likely to miss chunks of hair. So, I'm just putting my glove back on, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Next 
section of hair and I'm gonna continue what I've been doing. today. I don't think I've, I don't know if I've ever done curls with the middle part. I usually like part it to the left side. So we're trying something new today. I am just going to be doing the same thing again. can't see that but it's off now and I'm gonna unplug it but cool fact it will automatically turn itself off if you forget to so if you are like me and have a terrible memory that's a really cool thing all right so overall I give this curling one and a plus for me I think it worked really good I love the 25 millimeter wand I think that size is perfect for the curls I like and yeah, my hair feels nice, doesn't feel like burnt or anything. So yeah, I give it an A+. If you're interested in this curling wand or any of the curling wands on Foxy Base website, I have a discount code, I'll put it on the screen, and that'll give you $70 off all of their curling wands. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how I curl my hair. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, check out my other social media accounts and Foxy Base website because they have some awesome hair tools. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!